right, to all the boys I've loved before, let's, let's talk about this. Okay, so this movie is everywhere, which is why I thought it'd be good to talk about it because, you know, we're trendy here. Um, but, <laughs> hello my beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna spill some tea, we're gonna have a good time. This is partly a movie review, partly rant, I don't know what this is, but we're here. You guys are probably really smart and realize that it's Thursday and not Wednesday. Yeah, we're we're having a rough week, but we're here. Like it's we're fine. Okay? We're okay. Okay, oh, real quick, I got to tell you this before we get into it because you're going to hate me for life, but there are spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, do not watch this video. Um the fact that you haven't seen it is like shocking, but if you happen to not have seen it, don't watch this video cuz I'm going to ruin everything for you. <laughs> Let's talk about John McLaren who happened to show up at the end of the movie. Like this, at the end of the credits. Okay, fun fact, I didn't know about this scene for the longest time and I was so confused reading the like memes on Twitter about this and I was like, who is this guy? And I don't remember this part. Um, but anyway, he shows up post credits with some flowers at Laura Jean's house. Now, here we go, here's the conspiracy theory. If he would have showed up sooner, would she have ended up with Peter Kavinsky? Now, Peter Kavinsky is a great guy. Like, this was meant to be, but you never know if John happened to come just a little bit sooner, would it have been different? I don't know. My overall thoughts, it was great. Um, it was definitely better than uh, The Kissing Booth, which was another one of these rom-coms that Netflix just throws out there and we watch 50 times without realizing that what we're doing the 50th time we watch it. Uh, it was definitely better than The Kissing Booth. And I loved every part of it. And I'm telling you right now, it is the cheesiest and sort of cliche, but I watched it so many times. Oh, at first I was on Team Josh. You know, I felt really bad for him, like getting dumped by Margot and then like losing Laura Jean as a friend practically. But then, you know, Peter really stepped it up. Let me tell you my favorite, my favorite scene, my favorite part about Peter Kavinsky. When he's in the hot tub, they're having that little chat and he goes, I brought those Korean yogurts for you to eat so that we could eat it together on the bus. And I drove all the way, he drove all the way across town to get her these yogurts. That is adorable. Go Peter. Go Peter Kavinsky. Why did I just clap like this? Twitter being classic Twitter obviously turned this entire movie into a meme, so I thought we would read some. Naturally. Okay, this one's... I feel this one on a deep level. To all the boys who almost killed me on my way to class by skateboarding too fast at a time and place, they probably shouldn't have been skateboarding at anyway. That I really felt that one. <laughs> To all the boys I've loved before until I realized love is just a social construct created to deal with the reality that our sole purpose in this world is to reproduce because it's too hard to accept that there isn't a great mean to life than mere survival. Wow. Uh, oh, that was Gabby Hannah. Yeah, she's... Uh, you okay, Gabby? To all the boys I've loved before they couldn't pronounce my name correctly. She does have a tough name. Il, uh, Ilinma. Ilinam. Elenum. Elenuma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To all the boys I've loved before I started going to therapy. <laughs> to all the boys I pushed away because of my trust issues. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Capital, capital has. Uh, it's too relatable. Like Netflix. I have a conspiracy theory that Netflix secretly can read our minds and has this huge thing that like sends out radio waves, reads our minds that we need this movie in our life, this type of thing. And they do it, and then it blows up, and we love them. Like, name a Netflix original that's bad. There isn't one. Uh, another really cute thing about that movie is I love how Laura Jean calls everyone by their first and last names, and I honestly want to start doing that. Because it's cute for some reason. Like, Peter Kavinsky is not as great as just saying Peter. Well, yikes, I hope you liked this video. It was something else. Um, just, I don't know. I'll be better. You know, I have classes on Wednesday, so, like, I usually film last minute and, like, 
you don't you don't even need to know um i uh, i will hopefully see you guys on sunday see all your beautiful faces on sunday if you liked it please give it a thumbs up okay bye